हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डिजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 138 बैटल ग्राउंड्स मोबाइल इंडिया इज ऑल सेट टू कंडक्ट इट्स फर्स्ट एवर ओपन टू ऑल ईस्पोर्ट्स टूर्नामेंट कॉल्ड द बीजीएमआई सीरीज 2021 लास्ट वीक द कंपनी ऑफिशियली अनाउंसड द टूर्नामेंट क्राफ्टन रिवील द बीजीएमआई सीरीज 2021 विल बी लॉन्चड विद अ प्राइस पूल ऑफ रुपीस 1 करोड़ द गेम डेवलपर्स हैव आल्सो डिस्क्लोज्ड द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट एलिजिबिलिटी एंड लॉट मोर द बीजीएमआई सीरीज रजिस्ट्रेशन इज नाउ लाइव इन केस यू आर वंडरिंग हाउ टू रजिस्टर फॉर द बीजीएमआई सीरीज 2021 इन इंडिया प्लीज चेक आउट द स्क्रीन फॉर द BGMI series 2021 price pool money Battlegrounds Mobile India is surely the talk of the town among gamers. While Android gamers are already enjoying the game, iOS users are still awaiting the official launch. Battlegrounds Mobile India iOS launch is one of the most discussed topics and Crafton seems to be putting at the end of the way. New reports suggest that Battlegrounds Mobile India iOS could debut on July 24th. Google is expected to launch a new Pixel smartphone later this year. The Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro XL could debut in October 2021. The specifications and design render of the two Google flagship smartphone have leaked already. Google also seemed to be working on its first foldable smartphone. According to the reports, the Pixel foldable phone could launch later this year on early 2022. Selected iPhone 13 models could have the always on display feature. Apple is expected to launch iPhone 13 series between September and November this year. iPhone 13 models are expected to feature an A15 chipset, better cameras and a longer battery life. Apple launched the iPhone Software Edition 2020 last year. The budget Software Edition iPhone was launched as a successor to the original iPhone Software Edition which was first unveiled in 2016. Apple could launch the new iPhone Software Edition 3 next year. According to the reports, the updated Software Edition could feature an A14 Bionic chip. The same chip is found on the current iPhone 12 series. Lenovo will launch the Lenovo Tab P11 in India on July 26. The launch date of this upcoming tablet is revealed by the Amazon listing. Apart from the launch date, the teaser revealed by the Amazon even confirmed that the Tab P11 will be available in a slate grey color option. Now let's see the specifications of the Lenovo Tab P11. It includes a 11-inch IPS LCD display with Snapdragon 662 chipset. It comes with a 6GB of RAM and a 7700 mAh battery, which offers 20W fast charging support. as well Poco has confirmed to launch its next device called as Poco F3 GT in India on July 23rd. It's already known that this upcoming smartphone is nothing but a rebadged version of Redmi K40 Gaming Edition. Ahead of its official announcement, this handset price could be start from 28999 Indian rupees. A new Poco M3 variant with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage has been launched in India. The new variant is priced at around 10,499 Indian rupees. The remaining specifications of the phone include a 6.53-inch Full HD Plus display, Snapdragon 662 processor, and an Android 10-based MIUI 12 custom skin, and a large 6,000 mAh battery. The last OnePlus 7 phone that was available in red was the OnePlus 7 announced back in 2019. Now this much loved color is making a return with the OnePlus Note 2. Yes, the Note 2 will come in red and here's how the first look. Redmi Note 10 has bright purple color variant launch date has not been revealed by the brand yet. The new color variant will feature the same specifications as the original model. Samsung has a big lineup coming this summer with multiple foldables watches and earbuds set to make their debut. Now a report out of Korea claims that the new Samsung Unpacked event will take place on the date of August 11, 2021. Samsung is rolling out an update for the Galaxy Wearable app with an empty change log. This version of the app adds support for the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Watch 4 Classic, as well as the Galaxy Buds 2. Of course, the Samsung doesn't want you to know that yet. The Realme GT Explorer Master Edition is mentioned with a pricing of 2,999 Chinese yuan for its 6GB RAM and 128GB storage. That is coming under 463 US dollars. It is considered as a base variant. The Tina listing has revealed that it will be available with up to 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage. Ola Electric on Saturday announced that its electric scooter has gone 1 lakh booking in just 24 hours of opening of pre-launch booking making it the most pre-booked scooter ever. Ola said that it has seen a huge demand from customers for the new electric scooter. 
Oakle has posted its monthly report detailing the average mobile and broadband speeds in every country. India ranks 120th in the world in terms of mobile internet speed and 70th in the fixed broadband category. The average mobile internet speeds in India is 17.8 Mbps and fixed broadband speed is around 58.1 Mbps. WhatsApp is home to a new feature. Today it is adding a new feature that will make changes to its calling department and make calls on the platform much easier. As expected previously, it will now let become a part of the group call in the middle of it. The feature called as joinable calls will allow you to easily join a group call, something which was not available up until now. Here's how it will work. Zoom has announced that the company has agreed to acquire Fi9 which provides cloud contact center software. This is all stock deal which is valued at 14.7 billion dollars marks the first billion dollar acquisition for Zoom and it is also the second business tech deal in the United States this year. Just behind Microsoft planned acquisition of Nuance Communication for 16 billion dollars after the deal closes Fi9 will become an operating unit of Zoom. IQ has recently launched the IQ7 series in India. The company launched two new smartphones called as IQ7 and IQ7 Legend. But China is going to see a new smartphone called as IQ8 series. The new flagship smartphone from the Vivo sub-brand will feature a Snapdragon 888 Plus processor. The company's senior executive teased the IQ8 will debut on August 4th, and it will be the first flagship smartphone series to feature the new Qualcomm flagship processor. A poster of the upcoming Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 has surfaced online. It reveals the Mi Pad 5 design as well as its specifications related to its display, camera, and processor. Mi Pad 5 is expected to launch in August this year alongside with Mi Pad 5 Pro. If we talk about the specification, the display has a 120 Hz refresh rate and it has a resolution of 2560 into 1440 pixel resolution. And Mi Pad 5 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor. Maybe the standard model may be coming up. with the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor and the Pro model with the Snapdragon 870 processor. Virtual reality technology and VR gear are still in their infancy in India. Used mainly for gaming, VR headset are the demand for them is slowly on the rise. Look like Realme is gearing up to tap into VR market. A new Realme VR headset was spotted on the Watch 2 promo and leaks suggest that it could launch soon in the Indian market. Huawei will be unleashing the Huawei P50 lineup in July end of this year. Today the company released a confirmation through Weibo that the P50 series will be made officially at 7:30 p.m. on July 29. Huawei Consumer Business CEO Yu Richard said that the P50 series will be released soon with the pioneering mobile imaging technology. Earlier today on 19 July 2021 the Honor Magic 3 was teased in a new advertisement in China this ad revealed the front design of the upcoming smartphone which features a dual punch hole selfie camera ZTE confirmed that it will be announcing the Axon 30 5G with the second generation in screen selfie camera at 7 pm on July 27th in China. It will be succeeding the Axon 20 5G that debuted in September 2020 as the first ever phone with an in-display camera. A new smartphone with A2232 has emerged with its entire specifications in the database of Chinese TINA certification site. The phone appears to be the forthcoming Axon 30 5G. Thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter Instagram and Facebook